Hey y'all. It's it's sprinkling out here, but I'm actually in the greenhouse and um, I've got some uh, some seeds I want to start in my greenhouse here. And then depending on if the sprinkling and rain keeps up, I might take you around and show you a few things in my garden. But um, I'm going to try and start some comfrey and some yarrow, some pretty different colored ones. Some, uh, some German chamomile and some lavender. Now, the majority of my seeds are from Baker Creek, except for the comfrey, which I got. Um, it's uh, they're outside pride seeds, and I've not ordered from them. I think I've got them off of Amazon or eBay, I can't remember now. And uh, we're going to try and see if we can't grow them. I had tried to plant the comfrey before um, over by my uh, my compost pile, but then we got that humongous freeze and I haven't seen anything come up and so I'm going to try and start here in the greenhouse instead. Get a few things out of the way here. I've had the pots sitting in a tray of water because um, I'm going to a bottom water them. But I've also got a spray bottle that I'm going to moisten the top with when I, I get to planting the seeds. I've got them all marked because um, I do try to learn my lesson without marking seeds so I know what I'm planting where. And I'm just going to plant five or six seeds in each one of these and see what comes up. Now these are the comfrey seeds. You can see they're little, little black seeds. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them around over the top. Try and, and keep them spaced a little bit so when I do try to pot them out in something larger, um, I won't be having such a tangle with the roots. I'm just going to add a little soil on top of here. And we'll just press them down real good. I'll stick it back up in here. I'll sprinkle the, the top of them, spray the top of them after I get all done planting. And the next is yarrow. And I chose this one because it's all these different colors. Yarrow is beautiful and it grows wild here, um, the white version. But I'm a little spoiled and I like color in my garden. Now, yarrow seeds are real tiny. They're, um, they're related to carrots. So of course they're gonna be tiny. I don't know if you can see these. Little tiny white. And there's more than five or six here because they're just so that tiny. I'm gonna sprinkle them on the top of here again. And the reason I'm starting these in the greenhouse is just to give them a little bit extra. My, my greenhouse is open um, to the weather, just on the front here. But it's still protected from the wind quite a bit. There, press those down in there. And this one is, is the German chamomile. I've never grown chamomile before, but it has such a lovely flower. I don't really do teas. Um, I've just never cared for any teas, but I'm, that doesn't stop me from growing the, the seeds of, of herbs and stuff. Just because I like them and they're beautiful. These again are a very, very tiny seed. You, you probably can't even see them. So tiny I can't even get them off my hand. <laughs> and I'm going to cover these slightly lighter than I did the others. And just press them down in there really good. 
So there's good contact. Scoot these over so there's room for one more in here. And this is the lavender. I love lavender. Such a beautiful scent. A very calming scent. And lavender flowers are really pretty too. These aren't quite as tiny as the others, they're just little black seeds. And we're just going to sprinkle them over the top. And press them down in there. There we go. And then I'm just going to take this and spritz the top of them. just to give the seeds some moisture. Okay. Take that out of the way. And this is what they look like, all spritzed in there. Now I did take out uh, the last Burmese okra, the last, uh, hmm, well it's a red one, and I just forgot the name of it, and one of the Silver Queens. And I put them out in one of my big grow bags, the big 15 gallon ones, over in the garden expansion. This is a dahlia. My sister and I went to town yesterday to take some dog to the vet and we stopped off at the store, which we always do, and she found a dahlia. She she likes to buy me plants and sometimes she doesn't think about whether where I'm going to put them, but I'll find a place. <laughs> so I am going to have to take this and pot it in something larger, but I'm not going to do that today. Let's see if I can't find, move my little gnome down here a little bit and put these dahlias in front here. So they're just a little bit protected. Okay, we're going to go around. Look at the butt on that, it's pretty. I'm going to go around, I'll show you the, a uh, couple of the other things I did out today. She uh, bought me a pot with a couple strawberries. Now these are different than what I'm growing. These are Quinault. There's two of them there, one there and one down there. All the rest of my strawberries are Ozark Beauties, but I don't mind an extra one in there somewhere. Lots of peas out here, but I'm not gonna pick today. I'll probably pick them tomorrow. Give a day for everything to try and get growed up. Okay, and over here is the okra. So, the Bowling Red, uh, the last Burmese, and then this one is a Silver Queen. Which I hope will do okay, even though the top was froze out of it. But it looks like it's coming back down there. So, it's rained a lot. Uh, those, the one potato was leaning against the other. But they don't have much longer to go, and then I'll, I'll just harvest them. Here's my herb table with some more flowers. I'm loving all these sunflowers. I'm just really excited with them. And the um, delicata squash, which are really taking over that poor marigold. I'm hoping the marigold shoots up some. But the squash, I'm going to train to go through the fence. Here's a look at the pretty pink rose. And then just kind of a look around the garden real quick before I go back in the house. Um, with it sprinkling on and off, I'm not going to spend a lot of time out here today. 
I just wanted to get those seeds started and um, and put out that little dab of, of okra that I did do. I've got uh, three more silver queens inside the greenhouse there that I'll get another, um, I'll, I might use a grow bag or I might wait until I uh, harvest the turnips over there and then I'll put those in that place, but we'll, we'll just have to see where I can fit them. Corn's looking really good. I am seeing, looks like there might be a little bit of aphids on them, but I'm hoping that uh, my normal little predators out here will take care of those. Okay, y'all, that's, that's about all I've got for you today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and uh, if you like my video give it a thumbs up and i'll talk to y'all later